Hey guys, today I'm talking about the top 12 foods to balance your blood sugar levels. And really when it comes to blood sugar, it's so critical that we get that balanced and stable. When your blood sugar is off, you're gonna feel irritable, you're gonna feel weak, tired, hungry, you're gonna have cravings, you're gonna have more inflammation throughout your body, so you're gonna have greater levels of pain and discomfort. You're just not gonna enjoy life. So one of the key factors with improving your health is getting your blood sugar levels stable, and food can really act as medicine in order to be able to do this. And so the top 12 foods, number one, and it's no real order, but number one here is lemons or limes. Lemons and limes are rich in citric acid, as well as vitamin C, uh, vitamin P, which we call citrus bioflavonoids, as well as potassium and other electrolytes. And so when we look at vitamin C and bioflavonoids, these things actually help open up, they help with capillary permeability, opening up the blood vessels and allowing more oxygen to get into the cells. That's gonna help you with energy. It's gonna help your body actually burn fat more effectively. On top of that, it has a really positive effect on the microbiome, so your gut bacteria, and actually helps favor the development of bacteria that help balance your blood sugar. So it's really good for that. Helps, helps if you were to squeeze lemon on food or drink some lemon water before you consume a meal. It actually helps to reduce the glycemic impact or the uh, spike of blood sugar from that meal. So lemons and limes can be powerful. And going right into that, I mean, another thing that works well is apple cider vinegar. In very similar ways, apple cider vinegar really helps to favor the development of a healthy gut microbiome, helps stimulate digestive juice, juices so you get optimal digestion. And when you're able to digest your food effectively, you get less of a stress response, less inflammation, and therefore you get better and more stable blood sugar. So apple cider vinegar, um, both lemons and limes and apple cider vinegar, you can put that on food. I like to put it on meat, on vegetables. It actually helps start the digestive process before it even gets into your body. So if I'm eating meat, I need a lot of acid and enzymes to break down the meat. Well, these things are actually gonna start that digestive process before it gets in my food. Or, I'm sorry, before it gets in my, in my mouth and before it gets in my body. Now on top of that, if I put it on vegetables, it's gonna help start the metabolism of the vegetables. It's gonna to start to break down the vegetables, making it easier on my gut. And the easier food is to digest, the less inflammation it's gonna end up causing. And so apple cider vinegar, lemons and limes, two great foods for stabilizing your blood sugar. Now, another great one is avocados. Avocados are really an incredible food. They are rich in healthy fats as well as a whole bunch of different carotenoid antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin. Really good for your skin, your hair, your nails. Really good for collagen production. So avocado is one of my favorite foods. On days when I'm eating, when I'm not fasting, I'm consuming two, sometimes three avocados because of the tremendous health benefits that they offer. You can make guacamole, you can put these. One of my favorite things to do is actually make a, a, pro, a high fat protein smoothie by putting avocados in there with things like um, coconut milk and maybe even my keto protein, my chocolate keto protein tastes amazing. And I've got a lot of healthy fats in there, it tastes awesome. I also love making guacamole. So I'll make guacamole, I'll actually put it on eggs. So if I do like scrambled eggs or something, I like guacamole on there. Um, guacamole for my fajitas, all kinds of stuff. So, and then you can also just dice up an avocado and put it on your salad. So, so many ways to use avocado. One of my favorite foods, my whole family loves olives. Even my, uh, my kids, they actually go crazy over olives. And olives are a really good, healthy fat. And believe it or not, avocados and olives are actually fruits. And so people say, well, if I'm going on a low carb, ketogenic style diet, what fruit can I have? Well, we just talked about lemons and limes. We talked about avocados, we talked about olives. These are the best ketogenic, low carb fruits Olives are rich in, in uh, healthy fats as well as healthy fiber, really good for the microbiome. On top of that, they're also very rich in vitamin E, all your fat soluble nutrients, particularly vitamin E, a very, very rich source of high quality vitamin E. So olives, love to use those. Now let's talk a little bit about, oh, dark chocolate. So, you know, here I've got bone broth protein, which bone broth itself is really good collagen amino acids that are in the bone broth, really good for our skin, hair, and nails. But raw chocolate itself is amazing for your blood sugar. So in general, as long as it doesn't have sugar added to it, it's a really high fat, low carbohydrate food, and it's got a lot of different antioxidants 
So a lot of polyphenol antioxidants that help with blood sugar stability. They also help to prevent inflammation in our blood vessels and they help actually increase blood dilation. So getting more oxygen into deep areas of our body, including our brain. So really good stuff, dark chocolate. You can also do things like coffee. Believe it or not, coffee has two major antioxidants, polyphenols. Uh, it has caffeic and chlorogenic acid that are amazing for stabilizing your blood sugar. And this actually right here, now the key with coffee is you wanna make sure you get it organic. And right here, what, we've, what I've got is, actually this is called fat fuel coffee and it's instant organic coffee. And, and if you're getting a coffee, you wanna make sure it's organic, like I said, otherwise it's gonna have pesticides and herbicides on it. This also has coconut oil powder, MCT oil powder, grass-fed butter powder. These are all great things for helping stabilize your blood sugar. So, and it also has Himalayan salt in there. So this actually is a high fat, low carb coffee ready to go. And so you can just kind of dump it in a cup, put some hot water in there and there you go. And again, coffee really good for stabilizing blood sugar. A lot of research out on people who consume coffee actually reduce their risk of diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease, they call type three diabetes, diabetes of the brain, where we have insulin resistance in the brain. So neurodegenerative conditions go down, diabetes go down when we consume coffee. Now, of course, you can over consume coffee. We don't wanna do that. If you're feeling irritable and jittery and uh, angry, you know, th those are signs you may be over consuming coffee. You feel like you got a dependency on it or addiction to it, definitely reduce it. But used in moderation, it can be a powerful tool in your blood sugar, um, in, in, your, in your ketogenic journal journey or your sugar detox journey. So another good one, I already kind of mentioned it, is the grass-fed butter. So when cows eat grass, they produce, basically they get really healthy. And the dairy that they produce is very rich in things like vitamin A, conjugated linoleic acid, which is extremely powerful for your metabolism and your immune system. They're also, it's also rich in vitamin K2, vitamin D, vitamin E, choline, which is really good for the brain. So you get all these different compounds. It also has omega-3 fatty acids. It also has things like lutein and zeaxanthin, these powerful carotenoid antioxidants that are in there, and fat-soluble retinol. That's not the type of vitamin A. Retinol is a form of vitamin A, not the type we find in carrots. Carrots actually have a very weak form of vitamin A. They're actually not a good source because we've got to convert the beta carotene that comes from carrots into retinol. The best source is egg yolk as well as grass-fed butter, okay? That you're gonna get that fat-soluble retinol in there. Really good, another good source would be organ meats like liver, cod liver oil, things like that. Really good source of retinol. So I talked about eggs, pasture-raised eggs. Again, amazing. A lot of the, the same benefits that you're getting in grass-fed butter, you're getting in your pasture-raised eggs, particularly the yolk, which is where all the nutrients are. Now, of course, eggs also have high-quality protein, so they're actually a complete protein, one of the most bioavailable forms of protein. So eggs are an amazing blood sugar stabilizing food that you can be consuming. Now let's talk a little bit about herbs. We've got things like cinnamon. So adding cinnamon to different foods, particularly if you're eating, let's say fruit, okay? Fruit is going to increase your blood sugar and increase your insulin levels. But if you add a little bit of cinnamon to it, it's gonna help balance it out, help stabilize it. So if you're eating a sweet potato or if you are eating carrots, these things, although they have nutrients in them, are going to impact your blood sugar. They're gonna cause a rise. So adding cinnamon, maybe adding some like grass-fed butter uh, or some sort of a healthy fat source can really help stabilize your blood sugar when you consume those foods. Okay, also turmeric. Turmeric is one of the best things for reducing inflammation in your body and great at helping control, balance, and stabilize your blood sugar levels. So you can put turmeric in coconut milk and make what we call a golden milk, which is a really good idea. You can also put it in different foods. You can put it on meat, you can put it on vegetables. I like to make a uh, cauliflower mashed potatoes where I take cauliflower, I blend it down in a food processor. I steam it, blend it in a food processor. Then I go ahead and add things like grass-fed butter in there for healthy fats, some good salt, put the turmeric in there, kind of changes the color of it, but it's a good delivery vehicle to get more turmeric, the most power, one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory herbs into my body. So I go ahead and I do that. Also green tea, okay, and this is actually a yogi, Kai green tea, but it's kind of a form of green tea. Also matcha green tea is actually the most antioxidant rich, most rich in polyphenol, most polyphenol rich uh, form of green tea. 
and it can really impact your body and keep your blood sugar stable. Polyphenols are powerful. We find those in, in things like olives and olive oil. We find them in green tea. We find them in turmeric. We find them in berries. We find them in um, coffee, organic coffee, dark chocolate, rich in these polyphenol plant compounds that uh, have a dramatic impact on reducing inflammation and keeping your blood sugar stable. So I believe I talked about everything. That's our top 12 best foods for balancing your blood sugar. Would love to hear about the foods that you are consuming that have the best impact on your blood sugar, help stimulate your body to be in ketosis and to help your body uh, reduce hunger, cravings, and the desire for, uh, for eating foods that will spike your blood sugar. I'd love to hear about it in the comments section below.